From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time now for the five-minute salute here on The Horse's Mouth on Buzz TV, of course. Back at Tommy Backs, back at my bar, and brought to you by my good friends at truckcrashlaw.com. I guess this time around, he's back once again, Mr. Will Gibson from Vets on Tap. Will, how are you, my Tom, friend? Tom, good to see you again. Great to see you. Welcome yeah. back to the show. And it's good I, to be back. I know you got a little mishap. People can't see it, but I'm glad you're here, man. Yeah, we're doing good. You had to take the elevator up. That's I did. The first. <laughs> That's yeah. the first. That's I'm glad right. you had it. So we're good. First for everything, yeah. right? All right, so what's the latest on Vets on Tap? Uh, please first tell the audience again what you guys are doing. And I know you had a big event last time you were here. How did that go? Yeah, it went well. So uh, Vets on Tap hosts networking events for uh, transitioning military veterans, spouses, yep. and any really anyone who wants to come and help out veterans. Uh, yep. Our goal is to help uh, veterans find employment and connect to resources. Okay. Uh, so we do typically about three events a month. Uh, all around Jacksonville, we go to craft breweries and coffee shops uh, oh. around town, depending on what your flavor is. Okay. Uh, sometimes you can't get out during the during the week, and so the weekend uh, coffees are a little better. Okay. Uh, so we we head out everywhere. Last night we had an event actually at Fish Weir Brewing, oh, right. oh, which is better now. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's a right. great spot. Right. Navy yeah. vet that, that runs that. Yep. Uh, and cool. uh, we've got two more events coming up this month. Great. Uh, this weekend we're going to be at the mini bar on Gate Parkway for some coffee. Uh, okay. Nine to eleven on Saturday. Okay. And then on the twenty sixth we're going to be uh, at Engine Fifteen down at the beaches. Okay, I know uh, exactly. Right on Beach, Boul- Beach Boulevard, right? Yep. Yeah, just near Penman, uh, Penman Road. So all branches, of course, are welcome. Right. You're saying, hey, look, you're lo- you're transitioning out of the military into civilian life. You just need some camaraderie, just some talking to, some really good networking. Vets on tap. So right. There you go. So hey, you're right. It's not just about the job search. It's about finding connection. Yeah. Uh, a lot of yeah. people when they get out get isolated. Uh, yep. This is a good opportunity to meet other veterans and connect with people that have common backgrounds. I tell people, net- networking is huge. I network all the time. We all do. Right. Yep. But it's it's important. And especially when you get with like-minded people, you can feel comfort in that, right? You know right. that you're going to walk into an event with Vets on Tap, but filled with a room of what? Veterans just like you. Right. So you should be able to take some comfort yeah, in that. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully. And a lot of veterans think that they don't know how to network, and they've been doing it their whole lives. They just... Yep. Don't know how to frame it. Okay, uh, so we f- we get friendships, and we right. also get opportunity for uh, to uh, employment or career or what have you. Right, absolutely, and support. Most so. veterans don't don't most military people they 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 go into in the real world what they did in the in, in with the military, right? right. Similar, like whatever they learn, they try to take. Is that a hard? You know, transition to fine. I mean, do they have to be more flexible or like yeah, what, you what's do. the you do? Okay. Yeah, it's it's uh it's common that a lot of the things that we learn in the military we don't have the corresponding civilian certifications. Okay. Uh, like project management or HR certifications, yeah. uh things that we don't pick up in the military that really need to uh go out on your own and, and, and earn those. Okay. Uh so that there's some translatability. Yeah. That one can be tough. Uh but a lot of people do uh career pivots. Uh I'm okay. in the midst of one right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm starting to study for my real estate license. Ooh. I want to be able to help uh, military families uh, build wealth and, and find some security. It's common sense. I took it twice. <laughs> I let there it lapse go. once. I don't know why I did. And, <laughs> and then I let it lapse twice, to be honest with you. I just right. didn't get into it enough. But it really is. It's just, you know, you got to treat people the right way. Right. You got to know the law, but you got to treat people the right way. Absolutely. And look, again, with uh, your events, that's how people are treated. They're right. treated Absolutely. the right way. When people walk in, what if they've never been there before? What do they expect? Like, will they be greeted? Will they, you know, what what, what can they expect when they sure, walk Sure, yeah. First things first, it's a casual environment. Don't feel okay. like you need to dress up. Uh, I want people to feel comfortable. We try yeah, to remove definitely. all the barriers that would prevent somebody from wanting to come. Right. Uh, right. We're in a brewery or a coffee shop, so there's a welcoming environment to begin okay. with. Uh, you don't have to bring a resume. Uh, expect Good. that when you get in there, there's going to be people mingling and just talking to each other, getting to know each other. Yep. I do that for the first, like, 15 to 30 minutes, just to allow for people to get through traffic, finish sure. up work and whatnot, yep. and then we pause for some announcements. We'll talk sure. about upcoming events, uh, we'll do a roll call and see what service branches are represented, who, cool. who our employers are, cool. who our nonprofits are, and what services are out there, yep. and then we break back up for networking. It's just a chance to chat and uh, get to know each other in a comfortable Good. environment. Um, as we wrap up here, Will, how about the, the, the military men and women that come back that have, may have PTSD that, you know, may just, uh, as, they're, as they're like 
similar people that are there as well that you, that can right. be connected to. Well, there you know are saying? there's like, good resources available too. Okay. Uh, we've got a, a great man who you ought to have on your show sometime, Ron Ron Hasty. Love to have. He's him. with uh, UF Health. They have a brain wellness program that's okay. funded by the Gary Sinise Foundation. Oh, great! Uh, they He's they awesome. offer uh, free treatment. There's like a three day uh, evaluation followed by a three week. Uh, uh, outpatient okay. program, program for treatment. It's all covered. It's all funded by Gary Sinise Foundation awesome. and some other sponsors. That's great. All right, where can our great vets find you at Vets on uh, Tap? They can find me on Facebook, uh, Vets on Tap. We have two different pages there, okay. and then on LinkedIn as well. Awesome. Well, congrats. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. Hey, thank you. Keep up the great work, man. We love our veterans on this show, no doubt about it. Make sure you check them out on Facebook, Vets on Tap, and get connected right here in Jacksonville. There's life after the military there's no doubt about it great life awaits you so go to vets on tap and they can get you started hey if you like these kind of conversations check out many more at i want buzz.com so until next time stay safe and be cool out there we'll see you right here on the horse's mouth cheers